Hi, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. I hope you are all well today. We are having a great day here. It's still Easter for me. I'm just working, working, working. So, I am doing another Marguerite Miller challenge today, but you'll see it on a different day. Um, the reason is because I want to get caught up. So I have all kinds of things around me here. I have some little people and medium people and some big people are stuck around in there too. So the Marguerite Miller challenge for week 15 is I need something with fins. So I brought my sticker book Atlantis with me. There's some fish in there and they have fins. <clears throat> um, I need a person. So I have these Tim Holtz little people. I need a triangle. I don't have that yet. We'll look for it. Um, a game piece. A game piece. I have this little card with Ain on it. I'll bet it was train, part of a train. What do you think? How about this one? Can you guess this one? E-L-E. -E. And oh, there's a backside of an E-L-E. -E. And there is the front side of a Ain. <laughs> So I do have that game piece. Um, what next? A date. Well, we can come up with dates in this room. Let me tell you. I have them. I have all kinds of dates. Um, and a contraption. Well, I went with the contraption first of this air balloon. I pulled it out the last time we did a Marguerite Miller and almost used it, but I didn't. Hang on a second, I gotta take a drink of soda or something. Oh, sorry about that. My throat just does not stay healthy and clear all the time. Okay. So one thing I'm going to need is some background on this one. And I figured, let's see, no, I don't want that. No, 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 uh-uh, nope, don't want all those maps. Let's, 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 let's. I think there's green and pink in here. I don't think there's a blue. Let me look. Let's look and see if there's a blue. Triple V Vintage does these. She does a beautiful job. We have pink and green, kind of a blue, hmm, okay, that's not what I'm really looking for either. I'm looking for a light blue, light blue. Oh, I wish I had a starry sky, that would do it. Um, 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 let's see. Oh, I have a dark blue. Dark blue, midnight sky. There's a gray. Oh, oh, oh. That's a purpley blue. 
Okay, well, we'll, we'll go with this one today. It's not very vintage-y. But it lets me use a piece of that paper. And I do like that. Excuse me. So, I have this piece of paper. I'm going to tear it down. Oh, come on. Okay. Go that way. I'm sorry about the howling dog. My neighbor dog is howling, howling, howling. He does not like the rain. He does not like to be left alone. But he's alone. And in the rain. <clears throat> so, poor guy. I do feel kind of bad for him. Well, it's feel really bad. I have a big heart for animals. I think if you're going to own them, you should take care of them. You should treat them like you would your family. I think that's quite important. And then we want to tear it right here to right about there. A lot of work just to tear a piece of paper, isn't it? You got a lot of I got a lot of more scraps now. Okay, so we can vintage this up some, or we could go all brandy dandy new and do some nice blue on it, but no, no, no. We're not doing that. We got a little old and a little new. over there okay so this was the one from last week and we're going to do this one for this week I'm going to glue that on there we're backdropping this page just for the fun of it Yes, yes, yes we are. Oh yes we are. Oh, I had to kind of remember what was in my, my brain for this page. What was my brain saying? Well, we just never know, do we? get some good old glue stick on this love glue stick I don't love it sticky all over my fingers but I do love how fast this one works it gets all glossy and lets you know when it's getting just about glossy enough to go down on a page. And then you got all these trails of glue webs hanging around. And 
I need one of these. Okay, so there's that. Now, let's see. Let me get this off of here. I'm going to fold this one up. Give it a little more glue. About like that, I guess. I'm going to fold this over. About like that. There we go, the start of a pocket. Okay. So, um, now one of the things that I'm doing this year with my Marguerite Miller is I'm loosening up a little bit on the, the ideas over here and I'm letting things work better for me. So, I know that I want some um, fish. Do I want these wonderful colorful fish? I think I do. I think I want to go with maybe something bright. Okay, so I'm just going to open this page here. And I'm going to first bring in my balloon, my contraption. And it's going to go up here. And I've got my little people. But over here I have an earth. And For my earth to work, I'm going to have to tear it in half. So, can you see that okay? Um, I think half is about right. Well, a little more than half we're going to tear it. I'm going to set that over there. Now we're going to glue stick this because, well, <laughs> it just needs it. Okay, I hope this fits on there. Hey, it does. Look at that. Okay. So we have our earth. We have our contraption. Um, something we will need is some fish. So I think we'll go with this fish. I'm going to need my glue book. I'm not going to worry about gluing all around these edges and stuff. Okay, so first we're going to have a fish coming up out of the ocean into the sky. I like that. And um, then we're going to have a fish that's coming out from behind the balloon. What I need is guppy size, don't I? Okay, so he's behind the balloon. And I need another one. Better swim the other way. Oh, this one. 
This guy's colorful and wonderful. And he's going to be coming this way. Uh oh. Glued his snozzle down. Okay, so we're going to put him over here. And he is swimming that way or flying that way. Whatever these kind of fish do. And let's see, we need another one. Oh, here's a nice little one. Let's go with him. And I'll put him over here like that. Now we need half of a fish coming into the picture. So every every place needs a fish of this color. Oh, he's coming in the wrong place. Well, we'll just cut him off. Right here. Put this back side back in the book. And we'll use this piece. And this fish is a fish in outer space coming in this way. There we go. And we need one coming in from over here. Um, I don't think I have a purple one yet, do I? So let's get this purple guy. Oh, that poor dog. Uh-oh, this guy got glued down to the glue in the book. There, I got him. Okay, he'll be coming in this way. A yellow fish coming in. Now we need to make a yellow fish leaving, don't we? Maybe like this. Yeah, he can leave that way. I gotta cut some of this extra. Off. I should have done that to all of them, but it's a lot of extra work. Okay. Oh, what happened to you? There we go. So, kind of have some fish all over the place there, don't we? And we probably need one swimming up into this way. Maybe this way. Up into the picture. Um. Let's see what else we have. I know there's a lot of fish in here. Ooh, spooky fish too.
Um, ooh, there's a shark. Shark would be good. We need a little fish. This guy's really little. Let's go with him. Make sure I get him right set up. Fish is good. Um, okay. There must be some sharks. Okay. So, we need a big shark swimming into the picture. So they all know they're in trouble. No. This is a nice planet. So, we're going to keep it nice. And... We're going to bring in... Ooh, look at that big fish. Oh, we don't have a clownfish yet, do we? Can't have all orange on that side. Sorry, clownfish, you can't go in. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm getting there. He's got too much pink around him. Let's go clear to the back and start from here. I should have put starfish up there. Okay, he's going to be swimming into the picture. Like this. Whoops. I threw my scissors on the floor. Let's get rid of some of that extra. Too much extra around them. There would have been a lot more salt, more space uh, in space if I'd uh, removed some of the extra paper. Okay, we have our fish. We need our contraption. Not going to get it down there with this, are we? My glue is... This bottle is about done for. Well, I keep refilling it, but what I mean is, is the bottle is wearing out and the cap is getting really yucky and... So our contraption was made by these little boys 
these young boys, about eight years old, I guess, maybe maybe twelve or thirteen, and they decided they were going to I guess I'm centering it. I didn't want to, and I didn't think about it until just now. So here we go. It's a, at a little angle, but it was invented by this little boy, and he's taking his sister up for the first flight of the balloon. Now we're going to put him down first because he's hanging on to the balloon from behind just so he can grab his sister if he needs to you know in case they start to fall off so he's going to be right there And his sister is right here. And she's quite relaxed. She's um, got her feet on here and she's kind of leaning into her brother. Just to, just to be safe. And then their little brother said, well, I want to go. So he came around and he's jumped on top of the balloon. So it was a family affair, let me tell you. But you know what? They learned something about space is that there were no planets. The planets were all gone, and the heavens were full of fish with fins. And so this contraption really, really made it a special place for them to go. and. Pretty soon, um, as they floated around, the stars started to come out all over the place. So there were stars, plenty of them, but there wasn't a Mars and a Venus or Saturn. There was Earth. They could see Earth down below them. And there was lots of light in the sky because they could tell that the fish were very colorful. They were just like they were swimming in the ocean, only they were all swimming in the sky. But there was thousands of stars everywhere throughout the sky. They even got up into the stars and they came around the balloon and made the balloon look so pretty and colorful. And the fish swam among the stars. So they had what looked like stars on them, but it was only because they were down behind the stars. So, you just never know what you're going to get when you go to space in a contraption. You might end up seen flying fish. So, 
that is a very loose <laughs> collage for Marguerite Miller. Um, 15 for 2023. Very, very loose version. So we didn't get much in there. We got the contraption and we got something with fins. I left out the back of the elephant and the back and the front of the train. And we went with just what the contraption meant to going up in the sky when there were so many fish out. <clears throat> so there we go. And I can bring you in a little closer. There we go. And I could bring it up to you. See all those beautiful stars. Just shining in the big open sky above the earth. Where the fish played and played. And that is a story, and I'm sticking to it. It's a real story. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead. Um, I hope you get to spend some time enjoying the night sky. Hopefully it will stop raining in Oregon, and we can do that at some point. <clears throat> anyway, I hope you all have a great week. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And um, I'd love to have you all the time. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. Bye.